A canine companion making the rounds at Corpus Christi Medical Center, a two-year-old Sheepadoodle is now a facility dog there, helping improve the hospital experience for patients. Our Brandon Schaff joins us in studio tonight with how it works and where else the dog helps out in the community. Brandon? Hey, good evening, Brian. And the facility dog's name is Max. A hospital doctor originally got him to be a part of his family, and they soon realized that he would be an even better fit for the hospital after the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. You can see patients light up when he rounds uh, visitors in the hallway, not even to interact with them, just to see him in the setting improves their mood and their outlook. Max is the first facility dog for Corpus Christi Medical Center. He went through an intensive training program for a year and a half. Alicia Ramirez is Juan Ramirez's daughter, the doctor who originally adopted Max. She knows the relief that he can bring to the hospital and other places like a fire station. It's rewarding and it's fun to play with him and his best part is right here to touch because it's nice and fluffy. Dr. Ramirez said Max was a blessing for his family and now for the hospital community. He took Max to the medical center and soon discovered the need for him there after seeing how well he fit in at home. The kids were integrated with him very, very fast and quickly and, and we noticed that it changed the dynamics of the family in a positive way. Max now donates his time to the medical center to lighten the mood of patients. Director of Trauma June Nes Delgado said that when patients are in a slump, a visit from him can give them motivation to get to the next phase of their care. It's easier sometimes to receive difficult information or get through a hard day with animal assisted therapy. Max also visits first responders, bringing positive energy and calmness to what can be a high stress job. Corpus Christi Fire Department firefighter Walker Peden says he brings another aspect of home life to the station when he visits. After like a critical call or something like um, something that could be very stressful in our, in our job, uh, him coming and seeing us, that would definitely be a stress reliever and uh, helpful for us. And Dr. Ramirez says that Max visiting fire department stations makes him what he calls a first responder de-stressor. And Delgado says that Max is trained to be at the medical center for eight hours a day and that she's honored to bring him to different areas around the hospital and see those positive effects that the dog is having. Brian.